Okay, so my hair feels super soft. Even my little midsection right there feels soft. Now that I'm coming through, like these little things sticking up right here. I know we're not supposed to be there. And you can see like the line of where they change. Go ahead and chop those. I think I got most of them, but we'll see. So I'm gonna section off my hair. These clips don't really do that much because I ain't got that much hair. But it's all good. We work with what we got. But see, it didn't take much for me to do all of that. Like the detangle is real in these products. I don't know whether to start the front or the back. See a little strand hanging out. Yo, this brush is coming through for these ends. All right, so in my hair, I, I told you about basically the whole Design Essentials line. But this is their Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. So I'm going to take this. And I am going to take their Avocado Curl Enhancing Cream. I'm going to combine those two together. I'm trying to learn how to, how to work these. So I'm just going to take this Curl Custard. It's kind of like what you wrap your hair with when you get in a perm. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Definitely give some definition. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this curl cream. They both smell so good, Jesus. It's like you wanna eat it. And I'm gonna apply that on here. Liking. Ooh, look at that definition in the pores. Damn. Okay, you guys, I'm excited. My hair just really hasn't been one um, consistency, like, probably since I was born. So. I might be a little more excited than I need to be right now. Also what I'm gonna do is look at at the end of these little coils. Whatever got straight hair at the end, I'm just gonna cut that off. Get rid of all of that get into this naturalness. So, can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna repeat that process and uh, I'll be back. All right, so we are down to the nitty gritty, y'all. So, not so bad. Um, let's say I'm pretty satisfied with these products. For my first time. But when doing my hair before, it's crazy that I didn't know that it needed water. That's probably like the craziest thing to me. Ooh, I'm so glad to be done. 
definitely quicker than trying to do like a little a raw set, maybe. But still not fast enough. And then I only have hair like at the top of my head. Like I entertain today, like growing out my hair. But having to do this all over my head, I don't know if I'm there yet. I gotta get this down to a science, then maybe that's something I can consider. There's definitely gonna be some little edges left on this one, but all good. Hit them with the scissors after they curl up. That's just kind of been what's been working. edges over here these little side situations we need to make some happen with those so i also have a honey edge tamer so i'm gonna take that and hit these edges and i'm gonna spray some water because it has been out here dry okay it might be time to cut those little sides hit up these edges Okay guys, so this is my finished look with my finger coils and cutting off the rest of my perm. I'm gonna let this air dry overnight. I'm gonna fluff it out in the morning and I'm gonna show you like my finished, finished product. So it still wasn't fully dry, so I decided to hit it with the diffuser so that I could continue with styling the next morning. I did a little diffusing. I slept on this overnight. Um, now I'm just gonna take some little argan oil from the machine. I'm gonna kind of start like a thing. Actually, I'm just gonna rub it all over my hands. So I actually don't think I'm gonna pull them all apart. Mind you guys, this is my first time, so it's not going to be perfect. And then for these little ends that appear to be fuzzy. What am I going to put at the end of them? I guess I can always take some curling cream and apply them to my little ends. look go ahead and give it a little spin this is what I'm working with it's not bad for the first time um, gave it a little beat but honestly I think what I'm gonna do like first of all this little scarf right here is bay bought it at the beauty supply like the best three dollars I've ever spent basically don't leave home without it 
right now I'm really feeling the trend of just kind of tying it around and letting my hair do what it does. Okay, I got the other side too. I can do this. Girl, we do this every day. Clearly, except for today, my hair is not for it. I ain't feeling the tuckish. But yeah, this is just kind of what I do. Cool, simple, natural. It's my first time wearing my hair like that. Like I'm still deciding how I completely feel about it. So this is just my little situation at work. And then, cause I don't have hair, I'm really weird about my ears. So I'll pull it down to cover it because I don't feel like putting earrings on. And I'm gonna give this a twirl so you guys can see what this is. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that my journey will help you out if you're interested in starting this journey. I'm very new myself. I am very fresh. Typically on my channel, I only do makeup videos but because I've never done my hair. Um, I decided to try something new on the channel. Um, so if you are interested in the beatdowns, I have beatdowns per day. You can always find your Chrissy K beatdown. You can look to the right or the left. If you want to get one of those if you're not subscribed already and you want to keep up with my hair journey and you also want to keep a good beat go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you already subscribed thank you so much for watching my video let me know what you think about this hair journey let me know if you want to see more of this also because i'm completely new to this journey i know i'm type four i'm assuming i'm like b c if anybody wants to clarify for me the high porosity the low porosity i just don't have a clue let me know let me know until then you guys i will see you in the next video Mwah.